Hey, this is Landon from Coin of 5X CNC. You're watching build vlog number two. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button, and let's get to the video. In today's video, you're gonna see me build out my entire frame, finish up the Y axis from last video, then work on my X axis. I started off by working on the bottom section of my frame. It's made up of 50-50 aluminum extrusion and is held together by angle brackets, T-nuts, and bolts. The main reason I chose to use extrusion for this project was because it's relatively easy to put together. If I'd have chosen to use wood, it would have required more effort to assemble. I would have had to drill all the holes and cut everything to size myself. Or say I'd chosen to use steel, I would have had to learn to weld. By choosing aluminum, I was able to purchase it pre-cut and use the included fasteners to put it together. Aside from that, I chose to use aluminum for its rigidity. It's a stronger building material than wood in most applications, and this extra strength could potentially allow me to mill tougher materials. That extra strength does come at a cost though. Building a frame out of aluminum was much more expensive than building out of wood, and those are some of the things that one might consider when building a machine of their own. So after finishing up with the bottom portion, I used a tape measure to make sure everything was square, and seeing that the measurements checked out, I moved on to the top portion. The top portion is made mostly out of 50 by 100 aluminum extrusion, and this basically just gave me room for components like ball screws and linear rails. So then I moved on to my x-axis, I built it using two linear rails attached into the grooves of the extrusion using t-nuts to clamp it down. I screwed my gantry onto the gantry brackets and then tested out my x-axis for a smooth movement. So that's it for today's build vlog. As always, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a comment, and if you want to keep following the progress of this build, hit the subscribe button. Thanks.